Right, hello everybody, welcome to one game from Jim. This is probably going to be the only game of the team. Up against Wood Elves. Um, I don't know who this character is. Um, so, you know, maybe, hopefully he's terrible at Blood Bowl and the team isn't dead, but... Um, yeah, Wood Elves are better than High Elves. <laughs> so, it's going to be very, very hard. Um, yes, Mordred, yeah, for sure, for sure I do. Um, I absolutely 100% play better against better opponents. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I do anyway, even before I streamed, I, I already did. Um, you know, on Fumble, you can see that my, uh, you can see my Fumble record, it's, it's not, it's not great. Um, like, I mean... To be fair, to be fair, I did get top rank on Fumble as well, but um, historically my record on Fumble isn't, isn't that great. Like, it's still good, don't get me wrong. Um, but it's not really as, like, you know, say top tier as some other people's records on Fumbles. But those people who are, have got slightly higher win rates, um, I've got a winning record against them. Because, like, you know, I do up my game if I spin into um, end zone or whatever. And it's it's kind of the same in here as well, right? You've got you've got some people with uh, a much better um, win rate in CCL. Um, but then don't do so well in the playoffs. Uh, and again, not much better, right? At the end of the day, there's not that much between 17 and 75% win rate anyway. But, uh, but, you know, guys like Ducky play to their level more than I do, for sure. I think I'm, I'm definitely... And, and the, to be fair, the streaming has inhibited my level. I thought it would make it better because I thought I'd be like, you know... I, I thought no one's really good at Blood Bowl because, like, no one's, you know, invested the time in it trying to get better. So I did think... I thought two things when I was going to stream Blood Bowl. I mean, first of all, like, I do love Blood Bowl and I like thinking about it and talking about it and watching it. So I thought... I'm going to enjoy it, number one. It's nice, isn't it? Number two, people need help because when Blood Bowl 2 came out, it was, uh, you know, the people streaming it were terrible at Blood Bowl and I thought, um, I, need to, I need to stream it um, to save people and tell them the right things. <laughs> and then, uh, and I thought, yeah, and then I thought, also, like, no one's, no one's good at Blood Like, no one's good at Blood Bowl. When you compare it to, like, football... And, you know, chess and stuff, where people dedicate their lives to getting better at it. No one fucking does that. No, 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 like, not not, not Canor. Like, you know, he's all right. He's all right. And he's definitely good for, for new players. Canor's in the Super League. Uh, but, like, there, were just, there was just a bunch of people who were just trash. There was a bunch of people who were terrible at it, who were doing it. It wasn't only Canor. There, there was a bunch of people started streaming. And Blood Bowl 3 came out and they were, they were just all terrible. Maybe so, maybe not all. But the vast majority were terrible. And I thought... They need a really good player here. Uh, you know, there was a, certainly a gap in the in the market to be the good player that was streaming. That you know, there was like fucking Crendor and that. You know, and like I'm in Crendor stream and he's like, and I'm like, it's terrible not having a grid. And he's like, well, really high level players like me don't need a grid. And I was like, are you fucking serious, bro? Not Crendor. Uh, stripping, stripping. Sorry, sorry. Crendor's a lovely fella. Um, Crendor's a lovely fella. Stripping was like. You know, he fucking, I thought, God, he's a bit of a dick. And he was shit. Um, <laughs> Crendor, Crendor is, is lovely. He would, he would never have said something like that. But yeah, Striven was like, really high-level players like me don't need a grid. And I'm like, what the fuck are you on about, dickhead? <laughs> you're, you're not fucking high-level at all. Um, high as in you play like you're high. Um, <laughs> thanks, Plan Spaghetti Dinner. So that, that was one of the reasons why I started streaming. And the other one I thought, seeing as like no one's dedicate their lives to it. I thought, if I'm streaming, you know, like, you know, eight hours a day or whatever, I'm going to get fucking good at playing Blood Bowl, aren't I? You know, like, I thought I'm actually going to get good at it if I, uh, if I play this a lot. But then, and then also I thought, you know, guys like, uh, guys like Kanor, who, who could play the game, did just, like, their streams just descended into memory and stuff, you know, and he wasn't really, like, obviously he's got the videos, but like, a, you know, his streams at the time, he had his friend, you know, just like talking shit all the time. I don't know his name. And, um, and you know, so his friends on talking shit and they're just like having a laugh all the time, which obviously is an entertaining stream. But I thought, 
you know, it's not like, it's not trying to play the best you can possibly play or anything, is it? So I thought, I'll do that and I'll try and play the best I can possibly play. And I was, I really thought to myself, you know, I, I was aware of the leak in my game against not such good players. So I thought to myself, um, you know, if, if I'm playing that, I'll, I'll just play really well all the time and all this. And then obviously what happened was, I absolutely descended into just memory and and talking shit all the time and not really trying to get better at Blood Bowl at all. And I think I've probably got worse. I think I've probably got worse at Blood Bowl instead of better <laughs> by streaming. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Joseph. Yeah, so like, you know, obviously, like, the mo as I streamed, I learned more things, but that was my initial reaction. So there you go. This guy doesn't seem the best Blood Bowl player in the world. I think it's safe to say. Easy, pal. This is a bit much. He can just reverse and stuff, can't he? But, um. What else am I gonna do? He even forgot that. Base the ball. Reddit told me it was a good idea. Yeah, and there was all the Reddit advice that was horrendous, you know? So... <laughs> Is starting Woody with no catchers? No, he could have had a catcher, couldn't he? No, he's got a catcher. No, he doesn't. He doesn't have a catcher. No, yeah, he should have a catcher. Like, I don't think one rear... He got a rear off the kickoff, didn't he? Look a dog. But um, I think it's definitely better to start with without the tree and with two rerolls. I could have just based him up, I guess. With him only having, if he'd only had one. Just basing everything would have been pretty good. But with him having two, that gives him a bit of freedom, doesn't it? Yeah, four catches in one reroll, isn't it? I'll try that at some point, I think, actually. Oh boy, is he going to push down? Yeah. Blitz, leap, double GFI. Is that his play? Flip me, I think it could be. I always remember that guy. Well, shit. Yep. I never notice Wolfen Air. I never have the uh, the thing open. <laughs> Why is this a good defensive formation? Um, well, there you go. I'll, I'll, I'll refund your points. <laughs> um, and I shall say, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I just I just did it because Dio does it. <laughs> I just copied Dio. He's better at blood ball than I am. <laughs> I thought if he does it, it must be good. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. He scored now, and now uh, I get a 2-1 grinding. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, so that's the thing. You, you are a bit weak. So basically, so it's an offset LOS, but it's an offset. LO, it is an offset LOS. So you, basically, it goes for any offset LOS. Dio's one, he goes two out rather than just in the middle. But yeah, the idea about the uh, the three off this side is it does give them reason how they set up offensively, right? If you get a blitz and and or even if they don't get a blitz, even if they just don't protect the ball properly, with you having all these players here, you can run through and put pressure that way. If they do go down this side of the field, then it's okay if they score in two. You can put a bit of pressure on and leave the door ajar so that they can score but not stall. Like, you don't want them to be able to stall on you. But you can still move your guys back enough so that they can't stall. Um, and perfect defence, you can move all three here to the other side. So it's it's really nice on perfect defence. Um, so yeah, there you go. He's going to have to carry, isn't he? Because... Uh, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need um, a block carrier against wood elves. Against wood elves. And like that really looks open, but it's not that open as well, you know. Like that's a that's an aspect of it as well. It looks more open than it is. Um, so people may be tempted into bad spots. Yeah, yeah orcs, orcs aren't going to enjoy it as much. Hey, see, look, if I'd got the Blitz, <laughs> then it would have been brilliant, wouldn't it? Um, because he, I don't know how he set up, but um, if you've got loads of players over here and uh, they don't, they're in, uh, they're in a lot of trouble. Yeah, the boat, the boat without the offset is, is good for orcs and stuff, because then you're, uh... Oh my god. <laughs> the offset is not so good on slow teams, no. And, like, not even slow, like, humans are fast, but they're not as mobile, are they? Because they don't get dodges. Yep, score early and roll a blitz is a pretty good strategy. Can't argue with that. So this guy really probably should have been one further up, right? Um, not that it would really matter here, but I was scared of the tree running for him, basing everybody. Yeah, he's rolled the one, he's out of rerolls, always failed. He's out of rerolls. He's also stacked the GFIs. Not a problem. So. <laughs> so there you go. So this is not what you would call good play, is it? But uh, it may well work out for him. Because now all of a sudden a fail pickup and he, he's got all the pressure on the ball. People based up. It's looking pretty horrible. Up, up, base, base, base. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I should have been tight if it against the Blitz. But I was I was wary of the tree. Um, but I guess I shouldn't have been because he couldn't work. He could, the tree couldn't activate on the Blitz, could he? This is fucking horrible. Woohoo! 
Right. So some rolls work, but obviously this is her horrible because totally under the cosh now. <laughs> Can't make any hits. I oh, think a three plus for a hit. So I guess these two just dodge first. Good, lost a player. Woohoo! Outbashed by Woody's <laughs> classic. I mean, the, the initial KO is, is very, very variance, isn't it? So I can't argue with that. Outblitzed, yeah. <laughs> Outblitzed. See, I really genuinely thought I was, I was like, you know, I thought that would fix. I thought that would fix, like, the leak in my game streaming, but actually it's just exacerbated it. And, like, really. <laughs> You know, most people in CCL are really rather poor at football. And so I just don't concentrate on the game at all. And <laughs> just talk shit. And uh, we can talk about cloakers for an hour. And, uh, you don't, oh wow, wonderful GFI for no reason. Like, surely you just gotta hang in this match and eventually, eventually good things will happen. Um. Hey. Choice is there. Ha. Ha. I've got to move up the field at some some point in time. Annoying, because if I powered him, obviously I could have moved him in and assisted both of these hits, but... As it is... I'll just try it one day again. Oh yeah. Look a dog. That was pretty good, wasn't it? Um, well, I totally think I'm going to lose to Inarian's Flings, by the way, in Blood Bowl Super League. I'm dreading that match. <laughs> I'm absolutely dreading that match. <laughs> like, even though it should be a win, he's you know he's got a good chance of losing every game. As As good a coach as he is. Um, halflings are terrible, you know. They're not as bad as everyone says, but they're still terrible. Especially when you compare them to, like, you know, the best builds other people could possibly make that were really try harding. Um, I could definitely see him losing every game. But, um, I am terrified that, <laughs> that I'm going to lose to Inari. Brilliant that the tree is rooted anyway, that's good, isn't it? So it's not. Really a factor. And that guy's getting pushed free, so that's nice. And he's not coming for my balls. I don't know where his blitz is coming at all, actually. Wonder Wonder. Exactly all done. Yeah, I think it will. I think he'll beat me. I think he'll beat me. But very happy to have, uh, 
very happy to have uh, won, the, won the first two. I'm obviously pretty lucky to have won both two, but there you go. Yeah, it is. It is. It is pretty kind of stunnies. Yeah, I mean, he definitely could win. It's yeah, as as, as shit as stunnies are, um, it is a favourable rule set for them. No surfs for Jim. Can this guy reach here? Have I done it in the wrong? I've done it in the wrong fucking order. Flip me, guys. Jesus Christ. GFI here for no reason. He should have just gone further. Okay, look a dog. Look a dog! Do a reroll now. It's getting to the point where I could use a reroll here. No, I'm definitely not using a reroll now. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true, Sean. That's true. <laughs> yeah, it, it is a it is a kind rule set. To, to they're still stunties, though, aren't they? I still think it's not kind enough. I still think they're significantly behind real teams. Um. Like, it's a lot kind of a humans, isn't it? Humans, you know, maybe go above dwarves. And... Um, woodies and stuff. Like, I really I really quite liked... Uh, I would I would have changed the humans for Blitzbit Qualifier if I'd just fucking... If I'd just fucking done it. Like, I wanted to change. I deleted the dwarves and forgot to build the humans. Woo! <laughs> Halloween Ari. Given some good advice for people to have to roll dice this game, and I mean, it's been very good. Great dice rolling strategies here on display. Getting blitz wasn't ideal, but uh, apart from that, it's been all right. I don't know, Jaws, there's more, more than they've got in this rule set, I think. Like, obviously, there comes a point where you can make it a level playing field, isn't there? There is there is a point where it becomes level. Um, now, how much more that is, um, I don't know. I think more than what they've got presently. Because, like, the problem is they're always going to be really dicey, so it's really hard to judge as well, right? Because they're not a consistent team. They're like a shitty dice rolling team. So, if you try to make it, um, like, you know, good. <laughs> um, right, how far can he get? Need the power. Oh, baby. That's a bit shit, that square, isn't it? It's better than nothing, I guess, though. Really, 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 really
Tapez dans le tas Not going to use the reel on this. Do, do I just dodge there? Where can he go? There. Oh, I rolled a one. Never lucky. Never lucky. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing, right? Because, yeah, that's the thing. You you can't really put them on par. The thing with the the thing with the the the, the stunties is you can't put them on par because the only thing stunties have is a high roll, isn't it? So it's just weird. It's weird. They're always going to have like you can't make them not halflings, right? If they get if they get punched, if they get punched by PC's team. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and he just casts them all, like as it should happen. Not like no amount of skills is helping there, is it? But then, if they roll like Rick, you know, if they roll like Inari in, in PC's game, nothing saving them. But if they roll like Rick's, you know, rolled in some of his playoff, uh, some of his uh, Blitzpick qualifiers games, then they're going to obliterate people. Um. Yeah, but that's all they have, though, Jaws. That's the thing. All they have is the high roll, isn't it? Like, that's it's literally all stunties have is the high roll. It's like, you can't just make them equal. You just can't make them equal. You, I guess you make... So you've got you've got to somehow balance the high roll so that the high roll... they When they do high roll, they blow them away the appropriate amount. <laughs> or whatever. You know, like, it's hard. It's hard. It's not just... I know they aren't supposed to be equal, but tiers in, in tournaments endeavour to make things equal, or at least interesting, don't they? Ooh. Yeah, exactly. No, no surf here, is there? Just uh, run away. No fouls. No fouling allowed. Obey the sheet. <laughs> Did I miss him last turn? Maybe. Totally as planned, totally fair move. <laughs> That's better here, isn't it? Then if he wants to go further, close to the ball. This way he gets close to the ball in two, so it's better to make him all a three if he wants to get close to the ball. Uh, yeah, 65 or top, yeah. That's the one. I mean, there is a rule that makes them as good as Woody's. There is, Chip. Yes, there is. Of course there is. I'll tell you the rules that makes them as good as Woody's. They get 3,000 TV, and they can take stat-ups, and they can take up to four skills on each player. Um, and the Woody's are at 1,000 TV, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, then they're not as good as Woody's. Then they can beat them. It's that's yeah. So yeah, that that's so okay. So Chimps right then. 
There is, there is, there is no rule that makes them as good as Woody's. Is is totally right. Yes, you can make them so that you can beat Woody's nearly every time, because you can just let them have infinite, infinite stats and infinite doubles and stuff. And then, if you've got a team of strength four, agility four, bludge tackle, flings, armor eight, you know, whatever, then then they're definitely better than Wood Elves, aren't they? But I don't know how you make it so that they have like that they're kind of equal. It's uh, it's tricky. I'd like to blitz him, wouldn't I? Because he can hit the ball. Woo! So now. You can't reach me if I'm on the stall square. And I can tag it. It's probably still worth being on the stall square, isn't it? But yeah, you, you can make them powerful. It's just you can't make them have fair games. <laughs> I don't think. I think you just make their high roll better. Or you can make them OP. I mean, you can obviously make them OP because if they've got... If they've got so much more than everyone else, they can be OP. So it is tricky to not make them OP, but make them relevant. Very difficult. Like, Rick's always looked pretty OP. When they were just smashing everything to pieces, weren't they? Fuck's sake, what the fuck is this? Again! <laughs> They're looking at sea subs, yeah. I mean, they always were in Warhammer. I never liked them in Blood Bowl because of the, 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 the models, to be honest. I, I always hate the models, and obviously there are. They're not as powerful as Dark Elves or Wood Elves. Um, so it's hard to like them mechanically. And I didn't like how they looked either. But what they've got going for them in this game is they go, HA! A lot. Which is pretty good. I do enjoy the HA! Um... So, that at least gives them something that I want. <laughs> Blitzed again. <laughs> oh, fuck me. I mean, uh, Snotlings have that. In Blood Bowl three, Corvin and Lexter, when they, when they eventually come out, and uh, and Underworld have it as well. Like Snotling players will have it. They don't get their anuses out. That's true. That's true. They don't get the the butthole fouls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snotlings and ogres can have more players on the roster, um, but Snotlings have the rule for more players on the field. They can have up to fourteen on the field. Um, if you've got a roll to see how many you get on the field extra, so that's gonna make I think that's gonna make Underworld very powerful, having a real team, and then getting uh, getting an extra player getting extra players on the field with like you know mostly a real team that's pretty good. Where's the kick coming off the field? Off the field, brilliant. Get guaranteed So in pressuring the backfield, he was almost pointless. So he didn't aim at the centre square. Yeah, yeah, and it's really good. It's really good for Underworld. Yeah, flings get a lot better in Blood Bowl 3, yeah. Yeah, the catch makes the catch makes the DACA the DACA possible, right? Having the catches being quite good players. Quite good players is a stretch but they've got good starting stats haven't they catches um it kicked off the wrong place it went it went the other way right, 
to go there. Blitz with him and then run him back. Yeah. Hello, Lemon. It, it appears so, yeah. I like the punchy animations as well. I do like the punchy animations. Never lucky. I think I am going to reroll that. Probably should have done the 1D first. Oh, well, there you go. I think it was more important that I did the 1D. So I probably should have done the 1D first. And would have still failed it. But there you go. Payback. He's <laughs> new, it's fair enough. There you go. Now it's looking pretty horrible, isn't it? Down to nine players. Oh, he's on ten, though. Like, I, obviously, I wanted to dodge him off, but this guy could have got served. Maybe he wouldn't have done. So, like, I did want to reroll that and then do the 1D and then do the dodge away. But, um, it's looking pretty bad right now. Yeah, the fat, I'm not a fan of the high elf fouls. No. <laughs> no, I will, yeah, yeah, I can't play without the grid. I'm not a, I'm not a pro gamer like Strippin. I'm not a top tier coach like him. Sorry. Was it look like? Like you can you can do it. Like we had to do it when the game came out. It's, it's still there. You go. Like you can do it, cause you, but you've got to just manually make a grid for yourself and stuff. Like there, the grid comes up when you click on a player and stuff, right? But um, yeah, it's it, like it's just no reason to do it, is it? <laughs> There's no reason to not have the grid on. <laughs> Indeed, PC, yeah. Indeed. Go on, fail the leap. Rerolls in, he's out of rerolls. There's a chance, both down. No, of course, get powered. Okay, good. At least he can't get the ball himself. <sighs> right. So, I don't want to stand these up yet. He has to stand up, doesn't he? Haven't lost yet. I think this is good to get him out there. He's 
probably not going to surf him. It's better to have him up than not. Could have stood here, probably could have done good now, that would have been better, wouldn't it? No. At least he's out of rerolls. I guess at least there was something with two dodges. Was but the like if he if he was stood here and then this dodge didn't happen it would look pretty shit, wouldn't it? So at least there was something with only two in front, but not really much. I don't know. I don't know. A kind of monster. You're old. <laughs> Wolf and it. I mean, to be fair, right? 26 is pretty old. I wish I'd known how old I was when I was 26. Because now that I'm actually old. Like shit. Now I'm too old. Yeah, you've got to realise how old you are when you're 26, man. If you don't realise how old you are when you're 26, then before you know it, you're 40 and you're like, fuck. I'm nearly dead. <laughs> like, now, now I'm too old. Now I'm like... Now I'm just too old. Now I'm just... Fucked. So yeah, that's this is the team dead anyway with the uh, dead blitzer. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so it's the classic one game from Jim. He has now stopped crying about his dice, at least briefly. This dancer. Oh, no, no, he is he is crying about his dice, yeah. Yeah, he is. I'm, imagine thinking he would stop because he was dicing the living fuck out of us, but he ain't stopping. He did only have two blitzers, yeah. Alright, some good two plus rollings here. Very handy. No fucking knockdowns, but. Him over there. And him up here as well. Then there's like something downfield, isn't there? Oh, he's new, he's new, so like, he's, you know, this is the thing, right, when you're new to Blood Bowl, you're going to genuinely believe that you're just unlucky and stuff, aren't you? Um, there's no need to be nasty about it. He obviously just doesn't understand um, <laughs> the skills even, like, by making, that, by not cutting the dodges for the, do like, by not cutting the corners for the dodge. You know, so he's obviously new to Blood Bowl, isn't he? Um. <laughs> so, there's no need to be nasty to him at all. But, it's funny, isn't it? It's funny, it's funny complaining about the dice. <laughs> I mean, he gave himself one reroll, that was the thing. 
it's hard to complain about the dice when you give you when you give yourself one reroll and you could just start without a tree. <laughs> no eleven. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> This is quite the squeeze, isn't it? Just don't have the players to get out of it either, really. No, I don't think you are, Mongoose, no. Dodge both these out and then surf him. Ne vaudrait-il pas mieux esquiver que chercher à bloquer, Bob? Ah non, Jim! Frappez d'abord, courez ensuite! Ça a toujours été ma devise! Now he, he holds that area then, doesn't he? So he could go in here to punch him. And there's maybe just about enough stuff. We need to surf the catcher, but oh, fuck it. It's fucking horrible this, isn't it? No fucking players. Well, there's eight. Somehow there's eight players in a very small area of the field. I mean, he's got eight as well because the tree's out of it. So it is eight versus eight. Obviously he could surf two players here pretty easily, but whether he will or not. And even if he does, that's a substantial player investment. So even if he does serve two players, three players, could he serve three players this time? No, only two. No, yeah, he could serve three. No, he could serve two. By doing this, he does open up the diagonal, doesn't he? He did the right thing, that was a good play. Better than I expected from him. <laughs> Okay, no, he didn't. He didn't do it. Not only did he not go for the surf, um, he, uh, he failed it. Ooh. Not my dear. I know, mate. You only got two blitzers. Better luck next time, eh? Um. So the the the, the diagonal is covered, though, isn't it? Draw one D here. It's it's super nice if it works. I just can't reroll it. Well, okay. Oh, God, don't dodge. These two stuns are massive, aren't they? Next turn can be really good. Skull out. 
<laughs> and he, just, he could have just got surfed accidentally. <laughs> like he can he can do things accidentally at this point that are really bad. So the payoff is so huge there, even on a push. Any anything but a one there, there was big payoff. I like going for that. Hey! <laughs> Woo Amazing. Right, can I blitz with block? Not easily. Now I'm not going to say a lol in chat. I'm going to say... I'm going to deploy the nuclear weapon. <laughs> <I've chuckled. laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Me. Oh shit. Ah, ah! <laughs> yes, payback. <laughs> oh god. A chance again, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is this has been fun like elves are fun the has and everything are the most fun thing about them to be fair like I really do like the sounds <laughs> Tyrant Chuckles yeah in Aria <laughs> Chuckles is, is brilliant very rarely do I get a chance to deploy it I would have done a di Dio. I don't know if Dio was muted or not I should have I should have tested the waters by dropping a Chuckles and see if he responded uh, but uh, I, yeah, I shouldn't have stopped just because he said he was muted. Should I? I should have. I should have dropped the chuckles. Um, the, the you know the the equity shift that I could have I could have got from a chuckles would have been uh, could have been devastating. Come on, fail. Yes, good lad. Never lucky. Never lucky, mate. Never lucky. All right, so I'm going to go with a high line here, based on the fact that this guy... ...can free him up on a 1 in 9 instead of a 1 in 6 to get there. I quite like that. There's the there's the one on the next dice. Woo! Maybe I shouldn't re-roll that block because I already had the I already had this, and he might pow. And then I haven't got a reel for the pickup. Doesn't pal. Yeah, I probably should let that go, shouldn't I? Probably should have let that go. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so, Lemon. Yeah, I guess a plus strength. A plus strength blitzer saves the team, doesn't it? Or a plus out. Probably not a plus moving. Yeah, I probably shouldn't. Have re I probably shouldn't re-roll the one in nine. I, get, I don't know though, right? Because this guy getting in front and this guy getting in front makes it pretty fucking safe. Oh yeah, because the one in nine came before I moved him out. So then he makes it two dice. Actually, if I don't re-roll it, he makes it two dice very reliably. So yeah, that that one in nine did let us get this guy there. 
and then with two pluses would have made it very safe, so... Argue that the failure state's better there, though it does add in the extra one in 36. He does have a scoring threat, so that probably does make it better to do the dodge and add in an extra one in 36. Wow, well, you only got two blitzers. Can't always be lucky. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have been mean. It's fun, isn't it? It's fun. At the end of the day, it's fun. So, what can I do? At least he can, at least he can kill the Cloaca Sniffer. Yeah, Steve, Marty. <laughs> it is a glorious win. Unless he gets a riot. Seeing as he's got two blitzers, he probably will get the riot as well. Fuck off, go there. <laughs> it is fun, yeah. <laughs> well, like, hitting someone's different, isn't it, Lemon? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Right? People should be, uh, if there's a, there's a significant difference between words and assault. Yeah, maybe or don't, yeah, maybe. Maybe, yeah, exactly. Whining a bit and being only like, it's, it's totally fair, isn't it? It's totally fair. And especially if you're only playing Blood Bowl 2. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Lemon. Because, <laughs> like, a dead blitzer just means a restart anyway, doesn't it? Fuck's sake. <laughs> and he's a kid's game after all. <laughs> it's really, you, know, if you, you know, on the ass, you know, on the ass website. Um, I only found this out the other day. But there's a, there's a bunch of... And there's a bunch of quotes. Um, where are the quotes? On the CCL standings page, there's quotes. <laughs> uh, yeah, here's here's the link. There, there's, there's quotes down the page and you've got like, I'm going to find everyone who plays Norse in real life and just beat them within an inch of their fucking life. Jimmy Fantastic. Um, <laughs> and then... <laughs> God, I can hear Space Cadet saying this. Oh, fuck. Great. Am I supposed to want to serve my own player I'm Blood Bowl? Jesus. Who plays in real life and just beat them With average dice, I would have tied Matt Dacker. <laughs> um, but most of them are like Artemis's. Like here we go. Playing is an odd sense in Blood Bowl. You're not actually playing anything. There is no competitive aspect. <laughs> like all of that, I just absolutely shitting on Blood Bowl. It's brilliant. <laughs> Good. Hey, loads of money. Alright. 
Well, it wasn't a bad game, was it? What was his? What was his GFIs? His GFIs were bad, in fairness. His Dodgers. I mean, one at least was a four plus. Um, they're not that bad, are they? Right? Obviously, like, it's not good. Take routes were bad. The leaps were totally fine. Um, my dodges were poor as well. Just as poor as his. 79, 69, nearly. Nearly as poor as his. GFIs were lucky for once. Pickups are fine. 18, 20, 20. 21, 25, 18. So. Not much in it on the block dice, but you know, you'll, you leave yourself exposed to that by starting with one reroll, don't you? That is the thing. Oh, well, there you go, double. Fuck. Fuck, I kind of want to keep the team now, even though it's down a blitzer. I'll think about it. There you go. Thanks for watching, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.